You want to talk about an inflated sense of self? Listen to this narcissist, Rick Santorum, talk about his movies. I'm not there to do Pastor Hagee's job. That's Pastor Hagee's job at the church. I'm not there to preach in a movie. I want to entertain. I want to throw the question out there, the people, uh, the Christmas candle movie. I've, I mean, we've heard stories uh, of, of people seeing that movie who, who just, you know, come up and say, you know, I don't, I don't want to live another day without faith and, and accept Christ right there at the movie theater. They converted to Christianity right in the movie theater. Yeah, during a popcorn break, they saw Jesus. His face appeared in the urinal cake while they were pissing. I mean, even if that's true, which it isn't, I'm sure it's made up, is that something you want to brag about? Yeah, these guys figured out their entire world view and belief system at the movies. Oh, well, it must be really well thought out then. I mean, it must be well researched. You know, this Rick Santorum scene has great lighting. I think Yahweh is probably true. I mean, this is what I mean when I, when I mock these guys, and a lot of people go after me for mocking them, saying I'm too harsh and all this stuff. I don't think I'm anywhere near harsh enough. I don't. Because this is not a serious human being. I got no problem with you, anybody believing anything. You could believe whatever you want to believe. But then don't say that we have to take you seriously in a political discussion. Should this guy be sitting at the table talking about the right way to, you know, fix health care? Should he have a seat at the table when we try to figure out how to do the proper economic stimulus to get things going again? Be he's not a voice of reason, so why should he be taken seriously? 